If you go on YouTube and search up useless box, you can find dozens of videos, but they don't really explain how they make it. So I'm gonna do that step by step. If all you care about is the wiring and the code, I'll leave a timestamp in the description so you can skip ahead. Now all you need for this project is uh, either a on on toggle switch like this or an on off toggle switch and a servo like this one. You can think of these toggle switches like a wire. When you flip it to one side, it'll short the center and the other side. When you flip it to the other, it'll short the center and then the other side. My design for this is 100% 3D printed. There's absolutely no wood or glue. Uh, the way this opens is it's a hinge. So you, I have this 3D printed hinge pin, which just goes between these holes over here. Here's a side view of the panel lifted up and how it works. So you can see that's the toggle switch right there in the middle. And when I flip it, yeah. So this is one of the easiest projects you can make. If you can turn an LED on or off, you should be able to make this as well. Now here's the schematic. And one thing I forgot to mention is that your microcontroller has to have a five volt output for the servo, but Here's the wiring for the toggle switch. One of your pins on the left or right goes to ground, and then the other one would go to 3.3 volts. And then the center pin would go to any one of your pins on the microcontroller that can be used as an ADC input. And it's very similar for the servo. One pin goes to five volts, the other goes to ground, and then you can use any uh, PWM pin for your servo. Here's my code. Uh, I would say it's pretty self-explanatory. The libraries for the servo, the two pins for the ADC and the servo over here. Uh, the only thing is uh, I'm using a for loop to control the servo's movements because I wanted to go really, really slow. I don't want it to just push the button really fast and break something. But yeah, if you have any questions about my code, feel free to ask in the comments. Uh, if you have any other questions, feel free to ask as well. And thanks for watching.